really what I usually do. Um, but I'm a big fisher in real life. And this game right here, I deleted it, but then I added it back today because it's it's not mine. It, it's one of my favorite. Uh, actually, well, it's it's my second favorite fishing game that I have. But what do you guys how to uh, make some cash? Okay, so you need any type of bait caster, spinning rod, anything that could go out about about eighty. I say about maybe a hundred feet. So you want to make sure it goes out to uh, how about a hundred feet. So what you want to do is you want to have. Um, if you look on the top right of my screen, it says casting spoon, one three ounce number one. You're going to want to buy the. That's what you want to buy, guys. And um, you're gonna buy that. Um, you're gonna want to buy. Um, the casting spoon, one three ounce, um, preferably gold, but I don't know if really size matters in this one. Um, but this, I, I named it Money Glitch slash Tip because my favorite, uh, my most viewed video on YouTube was by saying Money Glitch, and, you know, I'm one of them views, bro, like, I need them, but I don't want to get, like, too many dislikes on it because I had a, a lot of dislikes. So yeah, I got about like 90 feet out there, and put it on like, if you're using a baitcaster, the one I'm using, put it on one speed, just roll it on the bottom. So basically like this right here, you just want to roll it on the bottom. And not all the time you're going to get it, but there's a, a big percentage that you're going to get it. There's more of the yes, you're going to get it, than no. This guy's over here struggling, dude. Um, and the more pounds it is and stuff, the more money you're gonna get from it. But still, you're still making some cash out of it, guys. So that cat, that that cash right there, or that cash, geez. I'm sick, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm about to get off not too much longer. I want to make this live because I might want to see if it might blow up or something, you know, stuff. Because usually my buddy glitches on GTA. Uh, this could be a way I can get my subscribers up. But and just like that, guys. Sometimes you might catch a different species than bass, but it'll catch you spotted bass, and they're worth like. If you catch like a pretty good one, it's usually uh, 80 to like 100 something. Dude, this is a good one. From what I'm seeing, this thing's fine. There's no, if this is a bass, it's a decent one. I gotta be honest. Yeah. See, guys, this is like 1.5, 4, 4, 4, 5. I'm not keeping none of them. Cause I'm, if I keep it, I'm taking the chance of risking cash away. I don't want that to happen. No. Uh, my favorite spots to fish is right here, right to the middle, or right to the middle, right here, like right here, or here. It has to be like I usually only get them whenever I like cast it right through here. Um, like right through here, anywhere that's through the middle, I'll catch them. Exactly right there. So, perfectly there. And you sort of reel before it hits the bottom, maybe. And I should get one right here. I'm gonna risk a hundred dollars, I guess. Actually, no. So I'm not getting on this cast, but Alright, 
So usually if I don't make it there, I'll just cast like right through here. And that was literally the most shittiest cast I've ever had. Okay, guys, wait a second, I'm gonna go do it. I need to do something fast. Oh, shit. Just give me a second, guys. I'm having allergies and I need to do this nostril thing. I don't even know if it has any juice in it. I oh, don't know, no. It doesn't, no, it don't. Shit. I need to do I need some juice. Juice, 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 juice to my people. Alright, here. I'm about to end the video. Anyway, uh, I'm not gonna fish here. Slight chance. There's always a chance. Uh, sometimes if you reel it in two, uh, two speed, it works okay. But usually one speed works about perfect. Though. Backlash? They better new stuff. No way. Everyone needs to go to KSI's freaking videos and just block every single one. No, I'm joking. I don't care. I'm not in the Logan Paul Jake Podcast or Jake. No. That right there is literally just. I wonder if I, I feel like they're friends behind the scenes. I'm joking, guys, but like. It's literally like they're in high school. Like, come on. Fighting if we're just for high school kids. Like. People are just talk some out. Just like this right here. This is what you do. You guys can get some, some crazy amount of cash. You guys do that a lot. You get some crazy, crazy, crazy amount of cash. Um. So. So that's how you do it, guys. I want to get off. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get off. Um, I'm gonna try some other spots. Maybe see if I can catch a bass. Probably won't. <laughs> oh, man, allergies are the worst. Honestly, I would rather be just sick. No, I just add that actual sickness. I mean, yeah, allergies is a sickness and stuff, but like other than allergies, I would rather have anything uh, um, except for the coronavirus. I mean, if someone's in the comment, probably texting that right now. Coronavirus question mark. Um, you're gonna get uh, your chat's gonna be delivered or deleted. Why did I say delivered? <laughs> oh, mother Jesus. Better let than ever. Yeah. That song is literally the fucking words. I'm gonna say who listens to Wake Up Call? Like, the fuck? Probably Fortnite players, dude. Probably Fortnite players listen to that song. Fortnite players are just dog crap, dude. They. If you guys still play Fortnite, come on. Grow up. Actually, grow up. I'm sorry, but if you really do play Fortnite, just grow the fuck up. It, it's just straight facts. Just go grab you a dick and grow the fuck up. Like, come on. Like, think about it. It's. You know. <coughs> Dude, I just can't. You know. I, I, 
No, I mean, I promise you guys, I really don't have the game downloaded. I've had that crap downloaded, or deleted for like, um, I played about half of the new one, but I was playing it because I was just, every other game I had, I wasn't just, I didn't want to play. So I technically were still playing it this season or last season, whatever season it was. <laughs> I wasn't enjoying it. I was literally just hating myself while I played it, but yeah. And my cousin sister tried to bully me and stuff, even though he's lower grade than me, but he said they trying to bully me and crap like that. Cause I still play Fortnite. But he's one of them people that can don't stick to one game. They get bored of every little thing. They have to switch games like constantly. And stuff, so which, don't blame him. Sometimes, some games, I could kind of say not playing every single day, but... I don't know why he cannot just admit it that Fortnite was fun. Because he played every single day. And I think the one reason that he left and stuff was because... Because he... It's every time we build battle... I would always win, and he he won't admit it. Still to this day, he won't admit. It. Whenever me and him was playing, he was literally getting de demolished by me, and he won't even talk to me. He's one of them kids that just like they won't talk to you. Like you can, they'll talk to you in person, but they won't say nothing real long, or they won't say nothing real long. Like I'm on. I wish you was watching this video. I hope you would. I wish you would understand that, Mike. I, I don't know why. I mean, yeah, I understand. I'm like one of the kids that always just text and text and stuff. But I, I just hate people that, especially on Instagram, whenever you whenever it says "seen," that's what pisses me off the most. Is they'll say "seen," and you're like, okay. You could just text back. And if you were gonna say something mean, don't text back. So that's why I'm not really like, you know, you say, don't care if he does or not, but. <sighs> See, that's. Well, he ain't really ain't my cousin, to be honest with you guys. He's more my, like, friend, but he lives with my cousins and stuff. <laughs> but he's just one of them. Peppy kids that are just that are so popular and stuff at school and crap. And they he never talks about he's always so one of them kids that are like that acts like he's so rich, but we all know he's not. Like, I even know he's not. <laughs> Just can't wait till I get my job this November, December, dude. And I'm gonna start driving. I'm getting my permit this November. I'm excited to be honest with you guys. But he's just one of them kids that they'll talk to you in real life. They can get along with you somewhat good in real life. But whenever you get to your house and you text them or stuff, it, it, it's like a whole new then. I mean, it's like, no, no, no. It kind of gets me mad. Yeah, guys, like, 
I just hate people that I just ignore. If you guys, if you are one of them person that ignores, if it's someone, I can kind of understand. I kind of do it a bit to my cousins and my one somewhat I have to be friends with. Um, but do I want to? No. <laughs> I just, but if my cousin does watch this and stuff, like, I mean, I don't care if you do or not, honestly, though, I just think that, and it's just straight facts, um, my mom even says, uh, he's just one of them kids, I just don't care, he's just a bitch, I honestly hope he did watch this. Like, honestly, though, we get into so many fights, and it's usually him, and I've hurt, I mean, my aunt, my aunt, 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 whatever, even said it was, that he's usually the one that starts it, because I'll have my opinion about something, and he'll have to comment on it, it's just an opinion. And then he'll get so salty over it because he's one of them smart people that knows about everything, you know. He's a know-it-all, just like my freaking brother. I, okay, since I've basically can't have, you know, I'm not a person that's always on social media and stuff. I, I'm on TikTok and stuff, but everyone's on TikTok, like, come on. And he's one of them people that are like... Yo, TikTok taking over the world, dude. And like, oh my god, dude. And, and then he gets so triggered because all the songs are on TikTok. And he's like, yo, just TikTok's ruining the songs. Like, they're not even like. Uh, okay, here's my opinion on that, like what he said. I know I'm just talking about random crap, but, you know, I'm about to get off and I'm just talking about random crap because I'm tired. But, he's. He, he even said, like, well, here, my opinion about that, I don't know why he said that, but my opinion about that is that, that you're going to, you're going to learn songs somewhere. You're going to learn it from YouTube or somewhere else. What if someone learned it on the first side and he watches it somewhere different? I See, he just pisses me off. Like, if I had to be straight honest with you guys... He honestly just pisses me off, like, I absolutely don't despise him or nothing, but, like, he's just one of them kids. And you guys might have one of your friends or something like that, I feel like that. Okay, I can say the ignoring part, I can see that a bit, but you're do if you're doing it every single day, just ignoring them every single day, every single day, every single day... And it's literally like 24-7, 24-7, 24-7, 24 24-7, 24-7, 24-7, 24-7. You won't just be like, hey, how you doing, or anything like that, even though. And I also have tons of friends that are like, always texting me and stuff. I even have one that texted me today, and I just ignored him. Because he's just annoying, he just texts and texts and texts. And I've learned from what he does... So I put that in perspective and stuff. I put that in perspective, and I'm just actually stop texting people 24/7. See, I'm not texting my. I texted my cousin like I think yeah a couple days ago and stuff. I said hi. I was like, how is your money and going on GTA? He looked at it, didn't care for it, went on. 
if you want them people in there being just being straight up nice to you trying to start a conversation like but you know I honestly don't care I just get so mad when people ignore okay I can see maybe like one or two times though but like if you're doing that every single time just to be a bitch like He's literally just one of them seventh grade boys. Uh, he's gonna get into high school, dude. I'm surprised he's not got his ass kicked yet. But he's gonna get into high school, dude, and his life is gonna change. Everything's so easy to freaking middle school. Middle school kids think they're all they're all being bad and Billy bad Billy badass and shit. They think, oh yeah, I'm the toughest person. Like you can mess with me. But, like, whenever you get in high school, like, I'm actually going through some problems with this one girl, you know, not like I don't like her, like, I'm going through problems, like, I I'll, t I'll tell you the down story, okay, so me and my friend, I'm just gonna call one Billy Bob, I'll call the other one, um, actually, I'm just gonna call them other names, so my friend Bryston, was sitting here and and there's just there's two girls behind me there's one that's just so picky and there's this other one that's always so like just so judgy and I can't wait the next period or fourth period uh, tomorrow because maybe one of my friends might go off on her or might go off on her uh, ever since uh, for the rest, of, since Tuesday, we got into that class, it's literally been a living hell in there. It's literally, there's two girls back there, that's the only one. And, and I was actually the one that was back there for all of them. So, if anyone have fucking problems, I could fucking, I don't know. I'm, I don't want to get in trouble, though. So, I'm not going to probably cuss her out, but, like, you know... <laughs> I just hate people that are so judgy. If you guys are so judgy about people, just don't even worry about the... And stuff like that, so... If you're, if you're a person that just judges and stuff, like... You know... Tough, no? But if, yeah, if you guys are so judgy, if you're is your people, if you're a person that judges people by, like, if they're fat, or if they're skinny, like, super skinny, or, like, if they have so much, sh like, you know, like, like, other things, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna, like, go off, like, a list full, but, just don't be so judgy when it comes to fat and stuff, cause, be honest with you guys, I am... And there's a reason I am. And no one looks at it that it could just be a sickness and stuff. But, um, I was a little baby. Well, I wasn't a baby. I wasn't a baby. No, I was about, okay, so I am thinking it was third or fourth grade. Yep, third or fourth grade. I think it was third or fourth grade. I had, um... I, I started getting a sickness that could kill me, and it's called the mono. I was sick for a week, and at a little age like that, you're going to be sick, and then sick, and then, and if you're sick for a full week, and you only eat maybe like a, a packet of crackers for basically a full week, and stuff, you're going to be sick. Or you're you're going to be hella hungry whenever you leave. <coughs> so I think it's about a week or some plus on that line later. Cause I had a chance of dying. I had like I was literally on a bed, or I was on in the hospital 
freaking I, I think IVs through my freaking arm or just needles through my arm. I think it's called IVs. I'm tired, guys. So all my name, all the names of real shit, is just out of my mind. So I'm, if you kind of tell my voice is like you know like this usually at night time. So if you hear like videos at like night time, I'm usually like so just drowsy because I'm you know tired. But I got a sickness that made me you know sick for a full week and stuff like that so I really never ate nothing I, stuff like that because the freaking food at the hospital was actually dog shit so you know I was like shit well I was like well okay so and then I left and I was constantly hungry for like months and months after I don't know why and I was always having it and then I'd find something that I really liked and I'd stick with it's like chocolate and like it just it, it's just a never ending story and then I found Mountain Dew and that's a never ending story like so story <laughs> is that well, um, you know, um, just don't make fun of people because you don't know if they got like a sickness and stuff. I'm not really gotten bullied over being fat. I just usually take it in, just take it as a joke and stuff to be funny and stuff. And I just like to share that to you guys, like. I just don't share it with too many people, like, social media-wise, but, I think I should share it to you guys, and it's, like, just, like, don't make fun of people, like, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one story, and I promise you guys I'm getting off, so I need to, ch I need to charge shit, and put all my stuff on charge, it's, I have literally, like, a process for go before I'm actually allowed to lay down and relax, so, I was in sixth grade, and I was in gym, and you guys let me know where it's going. Now I'm still a little chunky and six. I'm not like fat, fat, but actually I was kind of a little fat and six. So I was there, and we're just just chilling, just vibing, and, and, it, and I'm just vibing. And well, I'm just vibing, you know. So next thing I know, there's this one kid. And, um, he was, well, one of them kids that just picks on your ass, you know, you know, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, um, so, so I was like, you know, I was gonna just keep on seeing what he's gonna do, well, and he was one of them bitches that just like looked at their pressure you and bully you and stuff. This was sixth grade, and he thought that he was Joe Cool for bullying and stuff. Which is usually what happens. And I won't talk about whenever you go in middle school and you get bullied and stuff. That's not really the case, to be honest with you guys. But but that's what I'll say again. <laughs> was that um you know they're there's this kid, sorry guys, I lose my memory whenever it comes to night time, so I'm usually re maybe repeating myself sometimes. I hate, I don't like to that much, but, you know, I have to. So, I'll be there, and this kid was like, I don't know what he was doing. I think it was like, the titty twister or something, back whenever, it was like, oh, no, guys. And... Whenever it was like a thing in sixth grade, like that's what everyone would do to everyone. Don't ask why, but if you're like a 2004 person and you're in sixth grade, you, you gotta admit, that's every, I'm pretty sure, I mean, maybe just at my school, I guess, but that was everyone's thing. Like, just no matter if you're fat, skinny, we don't even, it don't even matter. It didn't even matter. Every time I turn around, I was always getting someone else's, someone's always titty twisting them, or someone's titty twisting me, or I'm just, 
I'm usually chill with it, but this kid on the other hand, he was out of hand. So what happened? Let me get to the real story. So he darted to me, and I stepped my fucking ground. I was like, he looked at me, and yes, I'm short and stuff, so we're he's a little taller than me, I think. So what I did. Um, was he's over here just. Um, I'm gonna start hands at him. Uh, what happened was like, uh, everyone's like looking at me, and I was I was actually kind of embarrassed like, at the same time. Like everyone's looking at me, they were probably about to start laughing. So I had to do something without me getting made like, fun of and shit. So what happened was I pushed this kid like I full on lunged at him, pushed him. And stuff. And I thought he was about to get up and start beating him about to throw heads. And that kid just on the ground. And I just literally got back in line like nothing happened. I was kind of like always looking back, dude. That kid got up like fast. Like that kid was like, you know, he actually almost did something to me. Like he knew that I was probably trying to be nice to him and not fight him and maybe have a chance. Like give him like a warning that the next time. I ain't gonna do that. I'm actually just gonna throw hands. And we never talked for the rest of sixth grade. And then eighth grade, he came up to me. This could just be. It might not even be nine months stuff. But he came up to me in eighth grade, two years later, and he just said, hey, what's up? Just, just chill as possible. He never been mean to me. Because he knew that I was, like. I think I made that kid, like, actually scared of me. And stuff, like. He, I might not, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I did, but like, that was the closest I've ever gotten to a fight. I'm not one of them fighty type, dude. Like, I just, I honestly think that fighting's like a good way to, sh to handle shit, but like, I don't know. I just think that like, cool, you know? Whoa. I think fighting is the best way to handle it. But what if you lose and you're the one that's like not talking to shit, but you're the one that lose. I mean, I guess Shadow says was it. But then if you talk shit again, and then you lose again, it's just like, wow, I've completely lost it. I mean, that was the closest I've ever been to a fight. It was about the one with my cousin. We were like little, little, little kids. Like, we were like little babies. Well, not really little babies, but we were... I think I was like, t like 10 or something. Like, I was like freaking young. I was 9 or 8 or 9. 8, 9, 10 or 11. Or no, 8, 9 or 10. And... I kind of got pissed at him and shit, and you know how we used to fight at little kids with a throw thug and, sh and shit to like show them. Uh, uh, I kind of fucking threw a gun right at his fucking face, and he threw it right back. I don't know where it hit me, but it fucking hurt wherever it hit. Me. Pretty sure that I don't remember. I can't remember, but. I mean, everyone's fucking around, dude. Like, everyone's, like, fucking watching. I was so fucking pissed at him. I just went back to my camp. I said, fuck this. Uh, he was, he's a bitch. You guys would have to see him to believe it. I wish he would just honestly change. Just start being a nice person. Like, I just hate kids that do that. He's, he's one of them kids. They're like... Um, that think they're so much better because you're like, you know, I don't know. You just, I don't even care, dude. Honestly, though, like, he could just be where the fuck he wants to be. I don't give a shit. Just if he does, if he does watch this, um, Dawson, listen here, bud. You're the best kid I've ever met. You know, you're you're so good. You know. You, you're like 101 the best like you know how to be the best 
friend slash cousin. Come on. No, I'm joking. And I don't understand why he freaking always ignores me, guys. I still, to this damn day, don't even know why he ignores me. His lies are the most funniest lies I've ever met. I, I told him, I said, just tell me the reason, I'll freaking stop. And he's like, oh, you always text too much. I was like, okay, I'll quit. I was like, I don't care about texting you every single minute. I have other friends other than you. Like, you're like the one that, like, I come to after all my friends are off. Like, got off. Like, that's just straight facts. I, I have, like, tons of friends on here. I literally just play with them all day. And they just now got off, like, like 10, 30. No, not 10, 30, but, like, 10. And then as soon as, I swear to God, as soon as they got off, I literally left the party. Because I have one that was still on, but he was, like... Like AFK, so no point of playing with him. Maybe play with an AFK kid. So I kind of just, you know, got left at a party, started a live. That's where I'm at right now. But honestly, I I just came to him. I'm just gonna see how his days was. Speaking of this, I'm gonna text you right now. I don't want to fucking lie, but you know, I give a shit. I'm gonna tell you what I, uh, I sent. I said, hey Dawson, yo dude, when you want me to come over some time to spend time. I know you don't like to talk over the phone, but we. But you wanna spend time. Oh, when you wanna spend time. I'm gonna bring an Xbox One over and stuff, but it's okay if you don't, it's fine. If he's a real cousin, he would text back and be like, or if he's a real friend slash cousin, I basically call him a cousin because this is my cousin, okay? It's just, just all I'm gonna say. But guys, I'm in the live here. I'm just, honestly, my cousins are, honestly, my freaking friends slash cousins are literally just piece of shit. Actually, every single one of my cousins, I like. Except for him, like he's the least one. Like, I, I like whenever he's so nice and stuff, but I hate whenever his bitch ass ignores me. He knows, he knows, even though he's taller than me, stronger than me, doesn't mean I could take him on. Just because he's stronger and taller, don't really mean stuff. Usually, taller people have a, a blessed advantage, a, 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 a disadvantage, because, like. If I wanted to go for, like, the freaking lays or something, like, tackle him, and then bring him to the floor and then start punching him. That's what tall people don't think about. But if they can stand their ground and keep their, str uh, keep a strong leg and stuff, 
then yes, good, but if you can't keep a strong leg, and you might be tall and shit, but if you can't keep a strong leg, like, if I ever had to go against a freaking tall kid, I'm gonna try to bring him to the floor. There ain't no freaking fist spot in it, I standing up, but like, there ain't no competition, really. I, I really have to be using dodge and weave as my, as my freaking defense, even though that would be a, a thing to use, but, like, I was going against, like, a freaking skinny kid and stuff, like, or not a skinny kid, like, a freaking, uh, a, t a taller person to me, I would, if it, it depends how much taller, if he's, like, my freaking, uh, my cousin, my one cousin, I have, like, a couple of cousins, but if he's, like, my one cousin, he's, like, six foot, so I'm, I'm like, five, four, like, if he's that much taller than me, I want to go, like, I want to dodge after him, like, I want to make sure, like, I get him down. That's a tip. Like, if you're gonna get to talk kid, I'm I'm really bad. I swear, I'm actually getting on the where it says broadcast settings. But if you guys are ever wanting a little tip, um, you get them. You want to go for like their waist, bring them down to the floor. Yeah, that might make a big ass explosion. But if you get them to the floor, that's whenever you go in for your moves and hope that he ain't good at throwing up. Like laying down, throwing up. Cause you you don't lose a lot of energy by throwing up hands. Like upper hands. I could take a couple of punches to my face. Like I'm not, I'm not actually experienced to fight, but I guess you're going through like tons of anxiety, so you're not really feeling the pain until you you're done. I'm guessing. So. I mean, honestly, I know I could take out a person, like, like, But that's all I gotta say, guys. If you go, if you're gonna go against a uh, tall kid and you're a little short kid, just like man, I'm not gonna make fun of you guys for short. I don't care. Honestly, I kind of make fun of my one friend, but we we just you know it's for the boys. But yeah, I'll tell you if you see my message, just to show you guys that he's just a duster. Okay, no, he's blocked me. I I think he's bought me like at least ten times. <laughs> Look, I just hate, I just hate friends because I was cousin that do this. But okay, I'm gonna head off, guys. Um, uh, I'm gonna see how this video does. Usually, people like want to look up how to get a lot of cash on it, and I'll be saying, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna watch this." Oh yeah, I'm gonna head off, guys. Talk to you guys later.